Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluter channel, and today I want to quick, 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 quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 42 mil, and today's video is why, why the Tudor, why the Tudor Black Bay Heritage is a game changer. That's right, guys. This is a complete game changer. Run the credits and let's discuss! Okay guys, why is the Tudor such a game changer? And I gotta tell you why it is a game changer. I really think the Tudor Black Bay Heritage is changing the face of luxury watches. Let me tell you this, I am the governor's governor. I am the pontiff. I am the most knowledgeable wristwatch celebrity on YouTube. I am the number one influencer in the fucking world. And let me tell you this. What have I always said? The best entry level, the best first wristwatch that somebody should buy. What did I say? What did I say again and again and again? <clears throat> what did I say? I said, buy the Omega Speedmaster... Man on the fucking moon. <coughs> That's what I said. Well, guys, I want to introduce a game changer. Game changer. The Tudor Black Bay Heritage. Why is this watch a game changer? I will fucking tell you why now. It's a game changer because it rewrites the rule book. This is groundbreaking. The Tudor Black Bay Heritage, in my opinion, is the perfect first watch. <coughs> now, let me explain. Let me explain. Doesn't mean that I don't recommend the Speedmaster, Amiga Speedmaster. Man on a fucking moon. No, 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 no. I love the Speedmaster. In fact, I would argue that as a collector, you should buy the Speedmaster as your second wristwatch. But, but, but fuckers, but fuckers, but fuckers. I gotta tell you, this is a game changer because it is a modern, modern size 41 mils. Even the Submariner is only 40. This is 41. It's perfect size. It's an automatic it's automatic. It's not a fucking manual wind. Now the problem is, let me explain it to you now. When you're a rookie schmuck, <coughs> when you're just starting in wristwatches, you don't understand. Manual wind is a pain in the fucking ass. People don't want it. See, you've got to explain. Oh, manual wind is for purists. It's for the the uh, the enthusiast. It's for the... Kodniki, you know, the whisses, the whisk fuckers, the whisk fuckers. <laughs> That's what it manual wind is for. It's got the house like glass, and sure enough, you fuckers out there who are going into watches for the first time, you want something automatic, sapphire crystal, and water fucking proof. That's what you want. That's what you want. No point swimming against the tide, fuckers. And if you're going to go swimming, you need a dive watch. You need a fucking dive watch. You're not going to swim with a fucking chronograph on your wrist. Now, interestingly enough, Patek Philippe and Lange, Lange, Lange and Sun, they fuck. They don't need to explain this shit to the punters 
fuck? They don't need to explain this shit to the punters who, uh, my Mercedes emblem fell down. My Mercedes, my Mercedes grill fell, fell over, sorry. They don't need to explain this shit to the punters because when a punter's buying a 5170, that punter, he really, really, he knows his shit. He knows. He knows wristwatches. He doesn't need to be told <coughs> why he's buying a manual wine paddock or a lange because he fucking knows. He knows his shit. But these dumb schmucks who are newbies into the hobby, they got to be told that manual wine is actually very, very pure. It's very, very cool. But they're newbies, 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 fucking newbies. <laughs> so I got to tell you the truth there. I got to tell you the truth. I gotta fucking tell you the truth there. It's a game changer. The best, the best entry level watch is the Tudor Black Bay Heritage. Because not only, not only is this watch here made by Rolex. Rolex. Tudor is made by, like, Tudor is Rolex's hipper younger brother. Okay, it's their slightly cheaper model. Yes, 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 but it's got an in-house movement. It has got, uh, it's waterproof to 200 meters, automatic. Okay, no date. Well, you can't fucking have everything, you newbie fuckers. I like the pure lines of a no date anyhow. I love no dates. Look at this. I got my, my Bregster, the Bregster. I, I wanted the fucking no date. Just wind and wear, wind and wear, wind and wear, wind and set and wear. Don't need to fuck around setting the date, do I? <clears throat> this is as perfect first wristwatch as it gets. This is a game changer. The whole thing, the whole game has changed. It's it's changed. The the Tudor Black Bay Heritage is the first decent watch you fucking fools should buy. That is what it is. It's a game changer. Game changer, game changer, game changer, fuckers. And I gotta tell you, I gotta fucking tell you, this is affordable. <laughs> there ain't no fucking bullshit waiting list. You can go in there, you can get it. And uh, if you watch my next video on how to haggle like a bitch, you can get it at a substantial discount. Now, I gotta tell you, if you've got a choice of getting it on leather or a bracelet, always, always, always take the fucking bracelet. You cannot buy these bracelets at a fair price later. you got to get the bracelet one. And um, to be completely frank and honest with you, this is a game changer. I now, <coughs> I used to say, whatever you do, buy either a Rolex or an Amiga Speedmaster. Man on the fucking moon, buy that as your first watch. Now the answer is no, 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 no. Buy the Tudor. Simple. Because Rolex is too expensive. And newbies, they don't like to buy second hand. They want to buy a virginal piece. They think it's special buying the virginal piece. Well, buy a fucking Tudor Black Bay Heritage. That is the perfect piece. Perfect piece. Then, as a second piece, I would say go and get an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Third piece, get a Rolex. By then, you're buying used. You're not buying new. You're buying used. You're buying used. Because you know about the depreciation and you know about how fucking stupid it is to buy new. So, in all honesty, this is a game changer. Game changer. The Tudor Black Bay Heritage. And I gotta tell you, <coughs> it's it's changed the whole map. It is all gone. It's all changed. No, I gotta be honest with you. Does that mean the Speedmaster Man on the Moon is a bad first watch? No, it's a great first watch. But fucking newbies, fucking newbies can't handle manual wind. They can't handle Helsolite. They can't handle... Wah, 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 wah. They can't handle it not being waterproof. Newbies, 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 newbies. Fuck, they are fools. They are fools. This is the perfect watch for a fucking newbie fool to buy because <coughs> it's automatic. It has sapphire crystal. It's fucking waterproof. 200 meters waterproof. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get those fuckers into the hobby. Then they can understand that, hang on a minute, 
just because you spend more money doesn't make something more waterproof. They realize, hang on a minute, you know a paddock, Philly, that's not actually waterproof. No, you dumb fuckers! <laughs> no, you dumb fuckers! So, I, this is the, the perfect, this is the perfect first watch for someone to buy. Now, you know, this is when you get out of shitter level. So, you know, I'm talking, I gotta be honest with you, let me talk shop with you guys. Fucking ETAs and Valju movements, fuck them off. <laughs> this is an in-house, it's in-house for ETA money. It's in-house for ETA fucking money. This is the one to go for. I'm not going to answer the call. This is, <coughs> this is groundbreaking news. you got to go for the Tudor. you got to get the Tudor. It is the ideal first wristwatch. You need to get the fucking Tudor. <laughs> it's the perfect watch for you. It's perfect. This is, this is the first, first watch you should buy. <coughs> Tudor Black Bay Heritage. I don't care what the fuck you buy, whether you get the... I don't give a fuck you go for blue, burgundy or black. Get the fucking Tudor Black Bay Heritage. It's as simple as that. That is number one. Then we could talk about the second and third piece down the track. But you need... This is the... It is a game changer. The rule books have been rewritten. Hell has frozen over. Game changer. Game changer, game changer, game changer. Don't buy a fucking shitter, 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 fucking shitters. No one wants shitters. You know, after you get a tag with a fuck, ah, oh, ditch the shitters. This is your first entry level luxury wristwatch. It's a game changer. The whole game has changed. It is over, Red Rover. It's all changed. This is the, the it's all, it's all changed. The Tudor Black Bay Heritage. I'm Archie Luxury. I'm excited. I'm telling you newbies, buy the fucking Tudor. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel, and my good friend Tan Zillin. Tan Zillin. Answering super chats. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tan Zillin. Simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's uh, not about the money. It's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shackling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls. Phone calls. You can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full-time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full-time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that. It's not about the money. It's my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillan, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillan. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys.
okay?